Today I'm helping you sort out the clutter of vitamins and supplements because there are literally hundreds out there on the market. But which ones are safe to take, which ones work well together, and which ones should be part of your daily routine? So is the supplement you're taking really doing what it's claiming? That's the big question today. And here to help us out is a world-famous biochemist who served at the request of Canada's former Minister of Health. He's also the author of the Nutrisearch Comparative Guide to Nutritional Supplements, Lyle McWilliam. Welcome. Thank you. I love this book that you have. Thank it's you. Actually, it's the go-to book I use to figure out which supplements make sense or not. Why in the very beginning did you start to write all this down? It takes a lot of work. Well, it all happened about 17 years ago. I was working as a consultant with Health Canada to help develop the regulations that are now in place in uh, terms of the sale and manufacture of health products in Canada. I began to realize that, wow, people really don't have a clue about how to figure out what's a good quality supplement for them. So after finishing that, uh, that, uh, that term, I set out on my own to devise a, uh, a kind of um, evidence-based, scientifically-based system to separate the wheat from the chaff. And that's the, the uh, beginning of the first edition of the Comparative Guide. We're in the fifth edition now, and it's been 17 years in the making. It's a field guide, folks, to figure out what you should be doing. Let me go over just at a high level. You covered this sure. in the beginning of the book a fair amount. What are the reasons for taking a daily supplement? So let's go through them. A, we eat a poor diet. You may not think you do, but most people, the overwhelming majority, don't eat the healthy vegetables and fruits and all the foods we want you to eat. Secondly, a lot of us overcook our food. And because of that, we actually lose nutrients because we destroy them in the foods that naturally would have had them. And of course, we're all getting older. We don't want to acknowledge it, but it's true. And that changes our metabolic rates and body processes don't always function at full speed. So we asked, well, if you're willing to take some questions, our viewers to pose a few Absolutely. of the big challenges that they face. So let's look at the first question. Hi, Dr. Oz. My name is Kendi. I take over 10 supplements a day. Is that okay? How many really is too many? How many is too many? Well, you know, it's a good question. Uh, and there's really no set answer to it. I take probably about 14 different supplements a day, and if you if you look at the uh, broad spectrum supplements, well, he's 106, I take, by the way. <laughs> which is, you know, one of the reasons. <laughs> if you look at the broad spectrum supplement, that probably has 30, 35 ingredients in it. So I'm taking a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not a question of how much or how many. It's a question of how are they manufactured. And it's a question of knowing what to look out for. There are a few nutrients that can be problematic. Mm -hmm. For example, vitamin A. Yeah. If you have too much preformed vitamin A in, in your supplement, uh, women, for example, in their first trimester of pregnancy, uh, too much vitamin A, above 5,000 international units a day, can cause birth defects. Yeah. A lot of women don't recognize that. The other one is iron. Um, iron can be really, really problematic uh, in, in a product, and there's a lot of products that I've seen in the market that are very high in iron. About 25% of the population in North America has a genetic defect called hemochromatosis, where you absorb too much iron from your diet. Now, if you take a supplement that's got lots of iron, combine that with vitamin C that enhances the absorption of iron in the supplement, you've got a problem. So when you're walking into a store and about to buy a supplement, how do you actually know which one's the best one for you? And how does, how does your book go through the process of outlining it? Walk us through those details. Well, what we've done in the book is we've take a, taken a scientific discipline to evaluate the product. First of all, we developed a, 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 an analysis model based upon the published recommendations of 12 other nutritional authorities. We didn't want to put our particular bias into it, so we, relied on, we, we stood on the shoulders of others, so to speak, and developed this criteria. And then we applied it to 18 different health support, what we call 18 different health support criteria, such as uh, heart health, metabolic health, level of inflammation, and on and on and on. And so it's 18 different ways of kind of kicking the tires and looking under the hood. So you found companies that were doing a good job. Absolutely. A lot of good companies, a lot of mediocre companies, a lot of companies that, whose products are very popular in the market that when you look at what's actually in the product, it's pretty me mediocre. What we did is we based it on a, a scale of one to five stars. Pretty intuitive. One, it's like a one-star hotel. You probably don't want to stay in a one-star hotel. You probably like to stay in a five-star hotel. Right. Same thing with selecting these products. And then those products that scored five out of five stars, we invited every company that we evaluated that scored five stars, and we said, hey, put your money where your mouth is. Take your product, run it through, a, uh, through an independent uh, assessment body, 
like uh, the U.S. Pharmacopeia program or the NSF uh, vitamin supplement program, demonstrate to us that you are manufacturing to basically pharmaceutical standards and then, and show us the, the GMP of certi certification, and then what we want you to do is take your product off the shelf and have an independent lab assess that product so what it says on the label we know is actually in the so bottle. So give us the final answer. I mean, who, who do you like? Who did the best? Well, there are, there are some good companies out there. Oh, and one of the companies, I think it's a, uh, a trusted partner uh, with, uh, with uh, your show, yeah. USANA Health Sciences, uh, outstanding products. And this company manufactures to pharmaceutical standards. And matter of fact, USANA Health Sciences is even registered with the, the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, as a pharmaceutical manufacturer. So it's audited regularly to ensure that the manufacturing practices are at the very highest level. They've always, ever since we've done the guide, scored in our top five-star products. But they've also demonstrated by going that extra mile and showing that they, their manufacturing practices are at, uh, are, are at pharmaceutical standards and also by, by taking their product and running it through an independent analysis. Um, these products are excellent products. The company has done an outstanding job with it. What I, li what I like about the company as well is that the, uh, is, is the commitment. It's a company that doesn't, that doesn't uh, run with the market hype. It runs with the science. And if a company is putting the science first, I've got a lot of confidence that the product is, is exceptional. Well, it's one of the reasons that we're proud to have USANA as one of our trusted sponsors because they actually have the highest rating in your book. I thank you for all the work you've done, which is... You're very welcome. But before Before here. Thanks to our trusted sponsorship partner, USANA. You go to DrRaz.com right now and enter for a chance to win one of a thousand copies of the Comparative Guide to Nutritional Supplements. And you know, studio audience, we love you so much. You're all going home with a book as well.